So all these leads you see here were scraped from just one Facebook group. And with the method I'm about to show you in this video, you can scrape unlimited leads from every Facebook group that you want to target. Not only that, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step process on how to automate everything and message each targeted profile we scrape from these Facebook groups. From scraping the leads from your targeted Facebook groups to automating the whole process and messaging every lead you scrape straight into their DM. You don't need any tech skills to do this because I'm going to break everything step by step and all you have to do is follow along. If you're new here, do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Let's get started. First thing first, we need to find Facebook groups based on the niche we want to target and then scrape all the people inside those groups and then we can message each person using automations that will be covered later in this video. So first, inside the Facebook search bar, you want to type the keyword that matches your target audience. Me, for instance, in this video, my target audience is going to be real estate investors. We want to target groups because that's where our target audience are. So on the menu, scroll down and click on groups. Now you don't necessarily have to join the groups as it's not that necessary with this method. But what you want to check is groups that are active and has more followers. And I know you might be wondering to ask, hey Frank, how do I know which group is active? Well, it's very simple. Just make sure the group you select to target has at least more than 15 to 20 plus posts per day. This tells you the group is active and people in those groups are actively engaging. So go ahead and select any group that meets this criteria. Now it's going to get interesting as we are about to scrape all the members in the group we target. And to do that, we are going to use a Chrome extension tool. But first click on the group members or the people tab and then open a new tab and search for Chrome Web Store. In the search bar, type Instant Data Scraper. Now add to Chrome and install. Now let's refresh the page and then open the extension to begin scrapping the leads. Once you open it, you're going to get this pop-up window and it's going to show you a preview of the first batch of people in the group. But we want to scrape all the group members so you are going to see this infinite scroll checkbox. Select that, and this is going to make the tool to keep scrolling till it reaches the last person in the group. So select the infinite scroll checkbox and click start crawling to start scraping. Now the tool will automatically scroll through the page and scrape all the members as you see in the preview. This part requires some patience depending on how many leads you want to scrape. At some point, the tool will stop crawling, and all you have to do is click Start Crawling again, and it will continue to scrape from where it left off. For the sake of not making this video too long, I'm going to stop at 2500 rows collected. But for you, you need to spend time depending on how many leads you want to scrape. Now I'm going to stop the tool, and then we proceed to the next step. Once you're okay with what we want, Click on the CSV button to download the data. Once you are done, you can follow same procedure and then select another group that has more members and good engagement. Open the People tab to see all the members in that group and then open the tool to start scraping the members. Now we need to organize the data and make some changes. So open a new tab and open Google Drive. Click on New and create a new folder. Inside the folder, let's upload the CSV file containing the data we just scraped from Facebook. So click on New again, select File Upload and locate the file. Let's rename to organize it.
Next, right-click and open with Google Sheets. Now this part is very important because this is the core of making our automation possible. We want to automatically send each person on this list a message in their inbox on Facebook, so that's why this part is very important. We need to first change the column headers because what the tool gave us isn't given. The first column, name it link. Next should be name. For the third column we could do date joined. We don't need the fourth column, so let's delete that. Click the column header to highlight the whole column. Right-click and choose Delete Column. And for the last column, name it Description. Now we need to add two more columns which are very important. So based on the message we want to send to these people, we want to personalize the message and call their first names like Hey Jason or Hi William, followed by the message. So we need to add two more columns to this sheet, one containing their first name which we are going to extract from the name column, and the other column containing the message we want to send. So let's start with extracting the first names from the name field. First, highlight the name column and right click. Then select insert one column right. Now name the column first name. Now this part is very critical so pay close attention. The name column contain first and last name of each user, but we want to extract only their first names. So this is what you do. Click on the first cell under the first name column, and then in the FDUX formula bar, copy and paste this formula and hit enter. I will leave it in the description of this video to copy and paste. This will grab the word in the name, so instead of Daniel Martin, it's going to grab Daniel. Once you get that done, we need to apply same formula to all the rows. So what you will do is you see that deep little blue dot of the highlighted cell, Click on it and drag it all the way down to the last row, and this will apply the formula to all the rows in column B and grab the first names. The last important column we are going to add is the message we will be sending to these leads we scraped from Facebook. But first, let's use ChatGPT to craft our message. So open ChatGPT and type this prompt. Create a short, one-line message for first name to see if they might need AI tools that analyze deals or find undervalued properties automatically. Keep it human, approachable, formal, and under 180 characters. Send via Facebook group and mention you saw them in the Texas Real Estate Investors, which you're going to replace with your group name. Now you don't necessarily have to use the same prompt I'm using because what you want to offer will be different from what I'm targeting. So the whole idea is to write 180 characters of message that includes first name template and the group name. Once you have the message, copy it and let's add a formula that replaces the first name field. So open a new tab and visit wordscounter.net. Pay close attention here. First, type the equal sign followed by two quotation marks and then between the quotation marks, paste your message. Now delete the first name template and type this formula. Quote followed by space. Followed by the ensign, then space again. Followed by C2. Followed by space, then the ensign again. Followed by space and finally followed by quotation sign. Make sure you get the formula correct or else it's not going to work. Next, copy the message and let's head back to our Google Sheet documents and finally add the message column. Now name the column message and paste the message in the first cell of the column and hit enter. This will pull the first name from column C and add it right into the message. Now let's apply this to other rows so just like before, highlight the first cell and drag the blue dot straight down to the last cell. Now we've gotten a full list of personalized outreach messages ready to send. Now let's be honest, you don't want to copy and paste these messages one by one. If you are able to scrape over 10,000 profiles, just imagine how long it's going to take you to message each person one by one. It's going to take you days and that's where automation comes in. I didn't want to make this video too long, so in the next part of this video which will be found in the description of this video, 
I'm going to walk you through how to automate the entire sending process. This automation is going to visit each person's profile and automatically send them the message we have here. In case the next part of this video is not yet found in the description, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned as it's going to be dropped soon. That wraps up this video and thank you for watching. I will see you in the part 2 of this video.